Okay, uh, hello. This is just going to be a tutorial on the basic Intamin Blitz top hat, like you can find on Pantheon. Uh, in the future, I can make more and more specific top hats, like on Batman Gotham City Escape. Tutatis is slightly different, but I feel like you could make a Tutatis style top hat uh, just off what I'm going to show in this video. Um, but yeah, I can make any top hat tutorial, hopefully. Um, Obviously, it depends on me, really. So, yeah, let's just get straight into it. The Intamin Blitz top hat is generally, like, the easiest one to make. Uh, and for a new-gen Intamin Blitz, at least, using the new-gen trains with the lap bars, like on Tower of Lost Chris, or etc., I would use a heart line of 1.3 meters. Not sure what that is in feet. It should be over 4, but that's all I can tell you. Uh, uncheck wireframe and double spine. Um, just go straight into edit and add a straight section, which will be our launch. I'm going to set this to 50 meters or 164 feet. That's 150 meters. Yeah. So 50 meters, 164 feet, and 113 kilometers an hour, which I believe is 70.125 miles an hour, but don't quote me on that. But this is a good speed to make a top hat. Um, generally, you tend to struggle, like, when you're making a top hat with a speed of less than 90, especially 80. Um, but anything over 90 or 100 is fine. You can make one pretty quickly once you know how to. Uh, and this is with force. You can use Geo. I prefer the top hats I can make in force. Uh, I know my way around the process more, and I can fine tune it to how I want uh, a little more easily. So that's just what I'm going to be showing here. But a Geo top hat is quite simple, and I believe there may be tutorials on it already. Again, don't quote me on that. But I personally much prefer force sections for top hats. So I'm just going to add one here. And because obviously this is the launch section we don't need to mess around with anything so i'm just gonna set this to 3.3 .3, this section which of course is going to bring up total to 4.3 which is very intense but we want quite a tight pull up into the top hat and because we have a one second uh length for this transition we should be good just a small note um You'll probably see me on all of the cubic sections for vertical force. I'm going to set tension to minus one, which may not make much of a difference, but it just very slightly uh, increases the length of time tr transition uh, into the change and back out of the change, which I think may make it a bit smoother. Not entirely sure though. Uh, so I'm just going to append this, and it would help if I made. Lats and roll dynamic. Okay, so this section here is probably where most people start to struggle. Uh, most people that I've tried to uh, show how to make a top hat struggle at this point. You can make a pull up really easily. Uh, it's literally just a valley. That's the easiest part of FED. But the twist is probably the hardest, especially because if you make it in the way that would seem logical, uh, first of all, you get a really weird top of the top hat. So we're just gonna make it in a logical way though, in spite of what I just said. And to do that, we're just gonna bring this down to minus five Gs. So we're pulling minus 0.7, tension to minus one again, like I said, and append it. And if we just continue this now, it just goes into the top of an air time hill. Which is great if you want an air time now, but not so good if we want a top hat. So instead, I'm just going to lengthen this a little bit up until the ascent looks like it's 90. So this is a bit over, a bit beyond vertical. You can tell because even if the roll is zero, it will go to 180 for a small period of time and then back. So I'm just going to decrease the length until there's no 180 or isn't right now 
So we're good. And then this section, I'm going to make Quartic and set it to 1.2 Gs. Uh, just, I might have to adjust this, but for now it should be okay. And lengthen it until, for now at least, the start and the end are about the same height. Obviously, this is absolutely horrible. We don't want to keep that. So to fix it, what we need to do is decrease the tension quite a bit. Uh, it's probably going to end up being a minus 1.7 or minus 2. Because if we just pull back on this now, that's still a bit too tight. So let's just go to minus 1.5. Oh. Yeah, still, that's like borderline. Um, I'm just going to bring this to minus 1.7. And that looks fine. Nothing spectacular. Uh, but not absolutely horrible. Yeah, maybe a little fast, but you can adjust that. No limits too. And now... All I'm going to do is adjust this section of roll. So I'm going to take the roll off dynamic, keep the lats on dynamic for now, and pull this back just to around here. So this is 74.3 degrees. It may not always be that. Uh, it may not on this goes to, I may change it. I'm just going to have to wait and see. And I'm going to set it to 90, which is going to make the top back go right. Obviously, if you want it to go left, you would need a negative 90, which is opposite from normal turns. Negative will normally be right, positive will normally, normally be left, but top backs just work a little bit differently. So. We have a 1.5 second section of 90 degrees per second. Obviously, it's quartic in a band. And now I'm going to take this off dynamic, check this section, this flat section of roll, and it's 1.61 seconds long. So I'm also going to set this to 1.61 a band. And then this is 1.5. So I'm going to set this to 1.5. Append. And now I just make these two dynamic. And see what I mean about the horrible top of the top pat? It's, yeah, you wouldn't want to keep it like this. Uh, I think that goes without saying. I hope it does. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely horrible. What I might do as well just before is adjust the entry. That looks maybe a little far forwards. Yeah, I like that a maybe a little more. Actually, let me just... I'm just going to set it to 1.56. So again, this flat section, just going to decrease that to 1.56. And because I haven't changed this length at all, don't need to change this length either. And while I'm at the top on POV, which is very important, all I'm going to do is adjust the lats. So, because we have a positive roll, to balance that out, we're going to need a negative for the top. So I'm just going to decrease this until we can get close to zero. I'm going to bring it to exactly zero. You don't have to. Uh, it's just a habit I've gotten into over my time on FVD. So there we go. Exactly zero. And now we can have a look at the top hat, which looks pretty all right. And for the exit, I'm going to do pretty much the same. So I'm just going to bring this up 
five G's and that, but I'm gonna instead of four point three, I'm gonna bring this down to three point seven minus one and pound. And I'm gonna just increase this by one tenth. Now I can prepend and set this section to such a value that the valley is at the bottom there. So which leaves us with like a Pantheon style top hat. It does go over a little fast. Um, but like I said, you can adjust that in No Limits 2 with sending it over at slightly less than the launch speed. Obviously then the concern is that the rest of the layout won't be quite as forceful in FED. So you'd, you may have to very slightly adjust the forces, but it shouldn't be too noticeable at all. Um, and you can even make an invisible transport section at the bottom of the drop that matches this speed for the valley, if you so wish. But from here, if we want to make uh, a two-sided top hat, like Stealth at Thorpe Park, Accelerated Knott's Berry Farm, with two twists or two turns, then I'm just going to remove this flat section of positives, because I don't need it. And come back to this section of roll, take it off dynamic, and just pull it back slightly, and it's going to end up being a similar height, but not exactly the same. I might end up having to adjust this as well. And set this to minus 90, because we want it to go in the opposite direction to the direction this went. And 1.5 seconds. And then set this off dynamic. And you can either pull it back 1.5 seconds, or you can check this length, which should be equal to 2.25. If I check, it is. Append 1.5, because that's the length of this roll. Append and append. And make these dynamic. And this section is 1.53. So I'll just bring this close to 1.53, which should get us close to the ground. Obviously, because we're at not as intense valley, it will go into the ground before this would. So slightly quicker. And now we're at the bottom. We can adjust this section of laps. So the only weird thing about this is that with the lats at the top, we needed to make it negative to counteract a positive roll. Whereas here, we need to make a negative roll to counteract, uh, sorry, a ne negative lat uh, for negative roll and vice versa positive. So positive uh, lats if you have a positive roll. That's the only thing that is different, really, as well as uh, some placement of the roll. Wow, and would you look at that? Draw it to exactly zero without even adjusting the tension. So from here, you can make literally anything. Obviously, the top hat is just the start of the coaster. I'm not sure if I'm happy with this placement. I might just bring this back one tenth and do the same with the lats. And now I'm going to have to adjust this all over again. So, wow, again. Exactly zero with no, no adjustment of tension, which is nice. And if I ride through this exit, it's nothing special, but it is good enough. And there we go. Just a very typical top hat in FVD. And because I have this roll at exactly zero, I can take this out, I can just set this to zero and take this out in a way without having to add everything. And now I just have the exit. That seems like it's running over significantly faster and maybe the shaping has gotten a bit, yeah, it has, but just having to adjust that alone after taking that out isn't too bad. Um, but that's if you wanted to make a top hat that has a straight entry and a curved descent, 
that's how you do it. It's just with the descent, uh, obviously after making the top of the top pack. So just a quick run through. And that's pretty much all for this video. Uh, top hats are difficult to make when you don't know how to make them, but this basic uh, structure, I guess you should say, is the same for pretty much every single top hat. Uh, whether it's uh, this style, or the Batman Gotham City Scape style, or like an old type, like um, Stealth or Accelerator, and Gerslau top hats are a little bit different, so I might make a video on those. I'm still not entirely sure on those myself. Uh, I personally find them as the hardest element to make in FED. But other than that, this is just a very simple intimate top hat, like you would find on something like Pantheon. With no exit here. And it is in force, so it's arguably smoother than Geo in some ways. You could probably make it just as smooth as Geo if you were good enough. I'm not. But this was just a very simple top back. Alright. Thank you for watching. I hope this could be of some help in any way. Again, like I said in the post, if you have any other elements that you would like to see, please leave a comment. I will try and make one as quickly as possible, a, a tutorial, I should say, on that element as quickly as possible. Um, it's difficult to know what elements people are struggling with. I would assume Cobra Rolls uh, uh, is an element that people perhaps struggle with um, on getting them So they come out pretty much exactly 180 degrees uh, away from each other. So going in the opposite direction and whatnot. But, and maybe banana rolls as well. Uh, but literally anything it can be any element. It doesn't matter if it's a, a drop that perhaps you're struggling with or a particular house bank, because I know some people struggle with those. It could be. Literally anything. Just leave a comment. I'll try and help you if I can. Um, but that's all for today. If you've enjoyed this, which you probably haven't, listening to me, uh, leave a like. Uh, comment any suggestions. I am working on more coasters. They're going to take a while. Um, but in the meantime, I'll, I should be posting more tutorials. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.